This is Damon Dash, and this is the Dash Diabetes Network. I might not be a doctor, but I'm definitely in a doctor's state of mind. Today we have a real professional in the house. We have Dr. Ray, and I can call him Dr. Ray because I know him. This is a man I highly respect, Dr. Zarif, AKA Mr. I'll Break Your Collarbone. So we got real serious doctors in the house with a wealth of information, and they're already in mid-conversation. Check it out. And every time um, my phone beeps, it's because my blood sugar is set at a certain time. Oh. And that's why I let it remain, because I want people to see what the life is of a diabetic. Like, you know, you see, I'm at 152. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not bad, but I'm just having it tell me that it's 152 because I might want to give myself a four or something, which would bring me down about 20, and it would keep me in that place. Gotcha. Before Frezza, this was a miracle for me. Like, I'd be happy to be at 152. Like, oh, I'm 152. I'm not going nowhere. And I'm actually thinking about improving it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, but I'm, and I'm great. at a good place. Yeah. So it's definitely easier than the discipline. And is it worth it? Like, what, what would you tell someone to say, look, this can get you to the blood sugar you want, but I'm thinking there must be a bunch of other effects from the things that are keeping the blood sugar correct. What are those effects? Well, you know, I think that this is a great tool, you know, which I think whenever you have a tool like this, because this is organization, uh, it's a reminder, it comes on, it lets you know what's happening, it gives you a chance to think or to respond right. instead of to act out uh, impulsively, and that's what's missing now in our impulsivity, the, what, how we eat today. We need something that Someone is Someone to hey, tell you when you're doing exactly. it wrong. Exactly. Like beep beep. Like if I didn't, yeah. if I didn't, like this innovation for me, mm -hmm. being diabetic, you know, for thirty years. Yeah. You have to test your blood and with a, with pricking your finger. Right. All day, stop what you're doing, explain yourself in front of people, and mm -hmm. have blood and get blood on you and all that. Right. This innovation is like. You know, like having the internet or something. Yeah. You know, it's, it's almost like a cure for me. The, the great thing that I think low. you said, Dame, is that, that it makes you think about, ooh, I can bring it down even lower now. Right. You know, and that that's what's really working, I think, because if you, the thing about inventions today and the inventions that we've had is that, like, if you get in a, if you invent a drug that cures AIDS, you're gonna have more people become more reckless because right. they're like, I'm getting a pill. I'm just right. gonna die, ask no doctor, give me I, I one. Get... But using this as a tool, this is gonna be really great, especially uh, if you start making those little steps, little by little, every time you look at 152, 151, it, it 150. It takes a small amount of discipline, but it's a discipline nonetheless. It is. There's a structured discipline that doesn't really compromise your quality of living. So, so I think what you're describing is is keeping people within a range. So so what you do with your Dexcom and, and the Afreza is you're keeping your blood sugar in this range. Yeah. So you're not going too high and you're not going too low. And I think you're trying to do that with patients with diet. Mm -hmm. Eat small, frequent me meals rather than what the government used to tell us, eat three big ones. Yeah. You, you know yourself, right? If you're all over the place, uh, no, diabetics I mean, will say, I feel as bad being high as I do being low. True. Um, and so you, through the use of a Fresa, have been keeping yourself in a good range. And, and you're trying to do that with, with your diet. clients so, with so diet. So you don't really eat anything that's going to make it go too high, yep. but eat enough where it's not going to go too, too low. low. If you would continue taking a Fresa, that's excellent. That's excellent, but if you do that and you start to eat and exercise yeah, you and get your rest, from it. oh man, you have a cable. You do it both together. Oh yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah. So it should be some kind of collaboration, a synergy of both. Because that's the whole world is a like balance, that. It's yeah. not just that one anything, anybody, it's everybody. So yeah, that was um, completely logical. Um, I definitely appreciated both of y'all perspectives. You know, it sounds to me like y'all saying a lot of the same things, but you're unapologetic about, you know, where you're from and your point of views. and. That was dope. I, I, I thought it was uh, insightful, logical. I'm with it. Where can people find you if they want to? Uh, Dr. Zarif at drzarif.com. Um, I'm also on drzarif.com. I'm Twitter and, you know, the LinkedIn and all those other. And where can people find you? They can you find me on the on the Mankind or the Afreza websites. So if someone has a question, can they ask you direct? They, they Well, maybe not directly, but it will go on to the website and I'll, I usually respond. Okay. That's dope. Yeah. All right, so we'll be back, talk about some more smart stuff, you know, and uh, if I could get them to argue, I will, but I couldn't do it today. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. If you want to learn more about being a diabetic and being cool while you're diabetic and the lifestyle of a diabetic, check out the Dash Diabetes Network. Holla back.
To those with diabetes, mealtime is really time to think about insulin. When do I prepare? Where do I inject? But if Reza lets you inhale your insulin when food arrives, even unexpectedly, so you can be spontaneous and not rely solely on injections. Afreza is a rapid-acting inhaled insulin used to control adult diabetes. Afreza can cause serious side effects, including sudden lung problems and low potassium. Afreza is not for patients with chronic lung disease, such as asthma or COPD. Tell your doctor if you smoke, recently stopped smoking, have ever had kidney or liver problems, a history of lung cancer, or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Most common side effects are low blood sugar, cough, and sore throat. Severe low blood sugar can be fatal. Do not replace long-acting insulin with Afreza. Afreza is not for use to treat diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not take Afreza if you are allergic to insulin. Get some dessert. Talk to your doctor before changing your Afreza dose. Blood sugar may need to be checked more frequently. Ask your doctor if Afreza inhalable insulin is right for you. How's it sound? We just, we want to make music. What we sense. really want to do is lay down some tracks. We're going to go take Porto Manzo where it needs to go. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and they act like my flow wasn't Jim Morrison in his past life. All of this music, buy mass weed, bitches and such. Not so much the LSD, though I'm still tripping. Parking V8 Chevys on Love Street. Haters only hating because they hate the fact they love me. Life that I have ever known. This is. 